for coming today. Um, essentially, we wanted to brief you on updates on the um, investigations into the shooting of a male person at Rabina on Saturday evening, the 26th of uh, November this year, and seek the public's assistance in relation to some information we've received uh, from witnesses. Um, essentially, uh, Gold Coast CIB have been continuing their investigations into the shooting of a male person uh, at a house at Cedarwood Crescent at Rabina. Uh, that happened at about 10.15 p.m. on Saturday, the 26th of November this year. Um, as a result of speaking to witnesses, um, we've released a, a comfort image of a male person um, we'd like to speak to in relation to this matter. Um, that image um, is a likeness of a male person who we believed um, knocked on the front door of the premises at uh, Cedarwood Crescent just before the shooting and spoke to the mother of the victim. Um, we'd certainly like to speak to any person who has any information as to the identity of this person um, and we were asked them to contact police or Crime Stoppers. Uh, further to that, we've received um, information from witnesses in relation to a dark coloured four-wheel drive, um, similar to a Jeep, um, a four-wheel drive, that was seen driving slowly in Cedarwood Crescent um, before the offence. If there was any person who saw this vehicle in that area at that time, if they could also contact police, we'd ask them to contact uh, police or anonymously via Crom Stoppers on uh, 1800 333 000. What kind of things are to the mother? Look, I'm not uh, at liberty to discuss the details of the conversation. There was a short conversation um, which, um, after it ended, the male person left the premises and the shooting happened a short time after that. Was it a heated conversation? No, but I'm not at liberty to give you details, but I can say it was not a heated conversation. Um, and I should say that this male person is not known uh, to the residents of that uh, house. Is he the, the suspect in the shooting, the main suspect? Or? Look, we're keeping an open mind about that. Um, we, uh, we believe that this person has some involvement in the shooting. Whether or not that person was actually the person who fired the, uh, the weapon, uh, we're still yet to determine. And do you believe it was a drive-by shooting looking for this car, like the weapon was fired as someone was, was driving by, or what, where does it fit in? No, we believe the vehicle may be connected to uh, the offence, mainly because of the, uh, its suspicious behaviour beforehand. Um, it was seen driving quite slowly around that area. But I mean, do you think it was a drive-by or was somebody actually out of the car when they fired the shot? No, no. It, it, it was just driving by before the offence. Was it the not at the time? No, it's not a drive-by. Okay, so no. somebody was actually... On, on, yes, on, on as, as we reported at the time, was a person on, on foot at the time. Was, the it, was that um, supplied by the victim? That identical? That's supplied by witness. The by victim or I can't tell you. Oh, okay. No. Yeah. Is he cooperating with the police? Yes, the, the victim and his family have been uh, cooperative with the police investigation. Has he been released from hospital? Or? Yes, he was released some time ago. Is this, because um, I know at the time you're saying there's some suggestion they may have had disguises, um, the shooter may have been disguised in some way because the victim didn't really get a good look at his face. So is this sort of your best hope then that this person might, you know, might be able to identify this person instead? Yes, that's fair to say that. Um, this likeness is, is from um, uh, the information provided by the mother of the victim um, who perhaps you could say had the best look at the male person. Um, so this is um, why we're releasing the image, hoping that someone may recognise that um, the, the comfort and be able to provide us with information. Because the victim, did, did the victim see any a face or see the, during the shooting at all? The victim did give us a description. Um, however, as you can appreciate, um, at the time, he was under tremendous stress and was going through quite a, 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 um, a terrifying ordeal at that point of time. Is there any link between this case and the grain charges that played out? No. Can you tell us how many shots you believe were fired that night? Look, we had witness reports of up to three, um, and certainly the, the reports of uh, people in uh, nearby locations and at the scene indicate that up to three shots were fired. And it was a party that, uh, at the house? There was a party at the house? or No. No, no party at the house? No. Okay. Is there any apparent motive? No, we're keeping an open mind about this. Um, we haven't, at this stage, been able to uh, definitively um, find a motive. Um, so we're keeping an open mind. Have you uh, ruled out links to outlaw 
or if you're getting to this stage or is it still? No, we haven't ruled out links, but as we've previously stated, although um, persons involved uh, in this incident um, have some connection to some OMCGs, the, the young fellow concerned um, is not known to police. He's, he has a very good job and gainfully employed. Um, just like a normal young man. Has there been much else in, by way of, sort of leads on this one? Has it been a pretty difficult one to investigate? It's been a difficult investigation. Um, it's taken uh, significant resources to get this far. Um, hence our appeal to the public um, in terms of this conflict and anyone who may have seen that vehicle in, in that uh, area at the time. Police seem pretty keen to solve this. Is there any other reason that it's with so much resources being devoted to it? Or is it... I would have thought any offence involving a firearm and a person being shot um, would uh, justify uh, our full uh, attention and, and, a, and a very thorough investigation. Can you tell us what kind of firearm was used? Uh, it was a shotgun. We believe it was a shotgun. Yes. And is he, um, you don't know how he is? I mean, he's out of hospital, does he? He's out of hospital, he's fine. Was there a suggestion that the shooter was by himself or, 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 or there may have been a few people at the time of the shooting that came to the house? That's, um, that's a very good question. We, we just don't know. Um, hence, keeping an open mind. Um, we're unsure if there was one, two or maybe even three people involved. So, um, hence our appeal to the public.